so now uh, we've got some windows I think it'd be a good time to introduce a bit of modeling and we're going to look at um, cutting these holes for our windows very simply so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Q a couple of times to get to my selection tool back there we go uh, select those guys and then I'm going to press this guy isolate selection and that will just give us the objects I want to focus on so then quite often uh, I want to start off with um, a primitive plane so let's do that I'm gonna to go to the front view and I'm gonna make a plane and I'm gonna drag it over my windows like that now what I want to do is see what I'm doing so I'm gonna drag the window the this plane back until I can see everything. Um, and then modifiers, and I'm going to adjust the width and length segments down to one. So if I press um, F4, it give me edge faces. And now I can right click on here, I can go editable poly, and now I can start modeling. So in order to start modeling, I need to get the modeling ribbon out, which so I need to make sure that that's on, and then that little down arrow is clicked, and then I have the modeling tab here, and that's what we're going to quickly use with this. So, um, really useful tool is the Swift Loop. So the basic modeling process is to cut um, a outline. You can see I'm making outlines of these windows, and then once I've made all the outlines for the shapes I need to cut, then I will go ahead and do what's called um, an extrude operation. So there we go, almost got all my outlines and this and then just another one for the bottom of the door. And then I can just do a bit of tweaking. So you can see I'm a bit off at this line so I can go into here and this is like an introduction but we'll do more of this uh, in the other tutorials. So I'm double clicking on that line and selecting my move tool and I'm just going to move it ever so slightly in. And that guy slightly in as well. Double clicking to select the entire edge loop and walking, walking through slowly. Uh, this guy And then um, that's mostly done, except this door, you can see um, I've got is slightly bigger. So I'm just going to out deselect that edge now. And then I can just drag that bit across to there. So it's um, drag to select and then out, drag to deselect and now that gives me uh, the outline of my door. So if I go back again, so now I've just got the plane selected. So quite simply, once I'm in polygon mode, I can click on a polygon and I can do extrude. And depending on the direction I drag the mouse, I'll go one way or the other. So let's just drag that back and I can do delete that polygon. And now I have a hole for my window. So I can select all of these guys now remembering to select that extra bit for my door extrude backwards press delete and now I have all the holes necessary for my features and then finally I just need to drag this plane gently into place and that is my uh, front wall well, it's not my front wall, it's a front wall, obviously. But anyway, you get the point. Um, and so this is the basic operations of um, modeling. Um, creating a cut in some way. So these guys up here are the cut tools that we'll learn. And then we go into various polygon modes. So we've got uh, very, these various operations. Oops, let's do that again. So these guys are really important. Um, 
this is really important and we'll go through all of this stuff um, in the future tutorials in the next section.